Okay, let's have a look at Spotlight. I'm going to open ZBrush up. Now, I wanted to, I wanted to have it closed because I want to show you how to load your model back in. So let's just open up ZBrush now. Make sure that you've got an internet connection. And I'm going to pretend that the light box is closed. So I'll just close that off. And I go and find my model, which in this case is in Work, Cyborg, Cyborg 5. I'm going to click and drag. This will open it up. Now I need to go straight into edit mode. If I don't, what will happen is it will create duplicates. So you need to make sure that you're in edit mode. When you click, hold the shift and it will constrain it to an upright. Now I go straight into edit mode and I'm back in. And I've got all my subdivision levels that I need. Okay, so we're going to have a look at Spotlight now. I'm basically saving a Spotlight out, and then I'll be putting it, um, sort of spraying it onto a plane so I can leave it up there in the background and just use it as reference. You could use it as reference straight from Spotlight, but um, that's the way I'm going to do it here. It'll serve two purposes. I'd like to also show you something that's done using Spotlight and basically using photo references that I've pulled off the web, and I've sprayed them directly onto the model and this was the image that I actually got out of it. All this uh, this reptile, these skin patterns were taken from the web and sprayed directly through Spotlight onto the model to give me this lizard type creature. Now I will be doing a demo of this model which actually took me probably less than an hour to do. So it's a quick model to do and it's uh, quite a good introduction to using Spotlight and spraying through it so we'll be doing that in another course. I just thought I'd show you that for now. So to get Spotlight up, we click our light box. And the first thing I'm going to do is not go into Spotlight, but to get my reference, I'm going to go into www. I'm going to click Yahoo. At the moment we've got blue in there, so everything blue is going to come up. So in this little search box, I'm going to type in hu uh, male human anatomy. So male... Um, anatomy don't really need to put human there do I and just hit the go right now we've got all these all these images some of them are quite good and you can scroll through this pressing the alt button same as you would navigate this is quite good for bones so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that and I'm going to double click it and there you go he's appeared in spotlight that's good now this is good this is a male this is an anatomy study so I'm going to click that one some of them are unable to be read which is a bit of a shame but you could pull this off the web if you wanted to this one's not bad. That's quite good, gives me all my muscle placements. And maybe this one, um, this one. Sometimes you do have this problem with Spotlight. Oh, that's going to go and try and find it. Close that down, they're obviously not working, something's going on there. Okay, there we go. And that's quite good as well. 
so any more I mean you get the general idea just to go through them finding the models that you like this one's quite good as well so I'm double clicking it or load it and then it will load it up and it will appear there right now the first thing I'm gonna do is come over to texture and I'm gonna save my spotlight and he's in with my cyborg folder and I'm gonna call it reference and I'm gonna save it and I do that straight away because otherwise spotlight has a tendency to crash so now I've got all my images I can literally grab these I can scale them I can scale them up and have a look at them I can put him over here if I wanted to keep these down here to get rid of the actual spotlight thing there I'll just press Z on the keyboard and then I can carry on sculpting my model as I would So press shift Z to bring spotlight back up and now I need to actually put it into something so I pretend I like uh, this one which gives me quite a good view of a uh, three quarter angle so now in the next lesson I'm going to project this onto a plane so that we can have it as constant reference next to the model okay I'll see you so that's a little bit about spotlight I'm not going into it in massive detail but um, I will be doing another video for this. But I'll be showing you. I mean, play around with some of these features. Um, you can paint through them. You can change. You can put them over the top. You can set where they're going to be and stuff. But I'll, I'll show you that in the next lesson when I project this image using the painting techniques uh, straight onto a plane.